domestic abuse to include threats on social media. A major study of antidepressants has concluded that they are effective and many more people in the UK could benefit from taking them. The in-depth analysis of 21 antidepressants showed that the drugs were all better at reducing symptoms of acute depression than placebos. Andrew Plant reports. They are one of the most commonly used drugs in the world, with millions of prescriptions for antidepressants given out every year. But for years there's been debate and doubt over how effective they really are. Now the University of Oxford has analysed the data on a huge scale and says every one of the 21 drugs they looked at did help patients to manage their depression. We found uh, that uh, all most, most commonly prescribed antidepressants uh, work for major depression and for people with moderate to severe major depression. And also we found that some of them are uh, more effective than others or better tolerated than others. Many who take antidepressants say there's still a stigma attached to using the medication. When I first started taking them, every, the first question I was asked was, oh, well, when are you going to come off them? When do you, when do you expect you? You're just going to take them for a short amount of time. Um, and it doesn't really work like that. You wouldn't say to a, to a diabetic, you know, when are you going to wean yourself off insulin, you know? Um, so I think that there's, uh, uh, people need to sort of um, realise that, 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 that the benefits of it, it's an ongoing thing. The study also ranked the drugs according to how effective they were which could help doctors pick the right prescriptions for their patients. Andrew Plant, BBC News. Well, I'm pleased to say we can speak now to Dr Sarah Lotsoff, who's a GP specialising in depression. And presumably you are encouraged by this latest research? I am. I welcome this paper with open arms. And I think in quite a few ways. I think to start off with, it does reduce the stigma because so many people hate the thought of taking medicines that they're not convinced are really going to work. So I'm very, very delighted with the outcome of this research paper. Uh, so talk more a little bit then about the stigma and why it is that some people hesitate and, and get the message from maybe friends and colleagues that, oh, you don't want to take pills for that, you, you need a totally different approach. Absolutely. I mean, I have so many patients coming to me and it's important to state the difference. Some people are depressed in themselves, but you have to actually target the clinically depressed patients. And they are worried about taking these tablets because they fear them. There hasn't been a research data like this before to absolutely confirm that these tablets work. But one of the other interesting points in this paper was that the research has showed that some antidepressants actually work better than others. And they looked at two ways, which responded more, which people responded more, and also how many people stayed on them. Now, Dame Sally Davis, who is our chief medical officer, and what we have been doing for some time is we can use personalized medicine to find out exactly which antidepressant works for you as an individual. So this paper highlights that different antidepressants work for different people. That is so true. But at the moment, it's a false economy in that we're guessing which antidepressant to work. And this paper again confirms this. However, we don't have to guess anymore. Thinking about other research, only one in five people actually respond to the first antidepressant they're given. So they have to try another one after six weeks and another one. But with the advancement and this revolution in medicine, we can actually to say to one individual person, this is you as an individual, we have got the right medicine for you with the least amount of side effects. So it is a great breakthrough in medicine. Just, just explain that a little more if you would. So uh, this is a clear indication in this study that certain antidepressants work better for certain people, but how clear then is it to GPs when a patient, patient presents to them which antidepressant they should be prescribing? Is, it, is this a genetic issue or is this uh, uh, something to do with the kind of depression that they're experiencing? How, how do you know? Well, that, you, you've absolutely hit the question spot on. All of us, um, general practitioners, psychiatrists, we guess. We have a list of maybe 21, for example, using the evidence in this study. 
number of antidepressants we could give a patient. How do we know as a doctor, looking at you as an individual, which one suits you, which one will give you side effects, and which one will get you better? At the moment, we don't. However, we can do. And we, along with Dame Sally Davis in the NHS, have been actually testing individuals so that they know they're on the right antidepressants. So there's no trial and error anymore. And that's the important link that this paper also shows that certain antidepressants will work on one person, but not on a person, another person. And that's down to their individual genetic makeup, which okay. we can find out. OK, Dr. Sarah Lotzel, thank you very much for explaining some of that to us. Um, I want you. to uh, stay with this because we're joined now by Henry Hardy, who's been on antidepressants for a number of years. We're very grateful uh, to you, Henry, for, for speaking to us. And uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about your experience, first of all. Yes, I first became depressed 20 years ago in 1998 um, and went to the GP and was given the old kind of antidepressant, the tricyclics, which didn't work very well, if at all, and I asked to be referred to a psychiatrist, the same person who still looks after me, who put me on the SSRI type of drugs that uh, are reviewed in the study. And I've been successfully medicated now for 20 years, and I'm the greatest possible fan for antidepressants. Uh, and do you understand the reticence some people have about uh, uh, the medical uh, intervention approach and feel that they, they shouldn't be, they're somehow cheating when they reach for tablets? Absolutely, I understand it, but I reject it as well. It seems to me quite clear that depression, clinical depression, is a, a genuine uh, illness, just like any other kind of physical illness. And I think.